Hello, Internet. I am Storm the Patriarch. And I am Preston the Daddy Lover. And we are playing Dream Daddy here on Degenerate Squad Gaming. And yeah, we uh, are. I wonder if we got coupons today. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, coupons, you know what to get us through the rest of the day? Thank you, mail person. Yeah, seriously. Now we can go shopping. Woo! Uh, a large yellow envelope. Hmm. Well, she probably has headphones on. Oh, it's probably another acceptance letter or rejection oh. letter. Manda Panda. Why? I uh, got something for you. I what? Is she? Uh, no, no, she's uh, not. Stop that. <laughs> Stop. From here. H I A. Um, hold on, hold on. Foreign Institute for the Arts. Stop. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta investigate this room here. I mean, that's a pretty sick room. Yeah, I like. You know what? I, I really I've like. I always loved the the yeah. string light aesthetic. I do like that. I do like the the yarn there on the wall. The yarn with the clothes pin and pictures. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and really a cool. love letter. Well, you know, come on. All right. High school. To or from? That's my question. Definitely from. Well, maybe. Maybe that's why it's clipped up there. Yeah. Unless it's closed. Well, it looks like it's closed, so maybe two. Yeah. Father, please. <laughs> Father. All right. So she says it open. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't hear me, clearly. Hmm. And the suspense is killing me. Hmm. I can't believe this. <laughs> hey. Woo! Nice going, Amanda. She got in. Proud of you. She gives me a big ol' hug. Aww. We're, 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 we're happy for you, Amanda. Absol Absolute fucking lootly. Yeah, yeah, she go out and celebrate. You deserve it. Oh, God. <clears throat> Wait. It's really expensive and it's far away. Yeah, it's her, I mean, you know, it's her reach school, but she got into yeah, reach I mean, school. That's, awesome. that's what you gotta do. No one, no one ever got far, you know. Not putting out their best effort. Oh boy, celebrating to again tonight, wherever. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. We're already celebrating. Yep. Here All we right. go. Face eyed, wearing our foil wrap burritos from a nearby, or tearing into our. Sorry, not. Yeah. Wearing, we're not right. Well, yeah. we could be wearing it for messy eaters. Messy eaters. <laughs> All right. Anywhere in Maple Bay, cost is not a determining factor, but uh, you know, just give me a burrito with a view. All right. I like Amanda. Yeah, I like, I like a Rito and a Rona. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that doesn't sound that bad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Dorms are right near a bunch of cafes and all these galleries nearby. And the discount for me is student ID. All right, let's... Yeah. <laughs> You're going to choke. I know. I know I'm going to choke. You know what? Who cares? Oh, goodness. Well, this is, this is an exciting time. It's extremely exciting, man. Yeah. Absolutely. And then she's got to find a roommate. I know. This time, I I was living with this kid named Craig. Dude was a total asshole. <laughs> oh, one time, there's a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story that our new foreign exchange student pulled a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. Carl ruled. Carl. That's that's a pretty good story. That's that's pretty funny. Um, get a rabbit. Ooh, a snake. You should. Amanda looks like a snake kind of girl. I don't know. She definitely looks like a rabbit kind of girl. Nah. I think we just have different visions for this girl. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, man. Also, you know what? I just if like she snakes. wants a snake, you know, she can have a snake. I mean, it's up to her, really. Is this her graduation graduation gift? Uh, what? No. I. Look. You you need to really knock it out of the park in these last few months of school. Yeah, seriously, fucking dumpster school. What? She's got the she's got the weird puppy eyes again. Like the, the that's the same sprite. Yeah, from when she was crying. Yeah, that's still weird. All right. Oh, we're crying. Yeah. Well, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a very emotional our, moment. You can see it in our eyes. Our, our eyes. <laughs> our eyes are always filled with such emotion. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. Can't get tear. <laughs> It's, it's gonna, gonna make it taste sad. Oh, yeah. how cute! Oh. 
Oh, that was that was such a way to punctuate that moment. All right. right. Who do you want to go on our next date with? Well, let's see. Any of these dads? Yeah, I mean, we, could, we could double down on Robert, we or could. we could try on. I mean, so who are, do you have anyone? I kind of want to see more Damien, but also just because I really like doing that voice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's give me a break. <coughs> All right. All right. We'll, yeah. go, we'll go for you. Yeah. Let you. All right. uh, let's, uh, let's let's go let with you. Damien Blood March. Yeah. Let's let you suffer for a little while. <laughs> 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 Grow your own vegetables. It's cheaper. Uh, I think. Do it once. Do it right. A. Measure twice, cut once. All right. And then they keep coming back. And don't forget to floss every day. Do you floss? Nope. I have. You know what? My mother was a oral hygienist, and I never flossed. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Did not. Uh. Damien seemed really interesting. A little uh, odd, but interesting. I think I should hang out with him. Get to know him a little better. Oh boy. I navigate Damien's dad book page and type out a message. All right. Hey, dude. You seem cool. We should hang out some Tim. Time. Time. Sit there for a minute before I see that Damien's typing. Oh, he's punctual. But of course. then he keeps typing and typing. I mean, this guy writing a, lo- a novel? I think the computer makes some coffee. It's going to be like K. And he's still typing. I sip my coffee and the computer finally dings. Still st- <laughs> and let's. Con- what? Oh, no! Whoa, okay. Alright, nope. Turn off. <clears throat> you, you Turn gotta, off. I must ask you if you're good at typing. What? No. What? He even signed it. Can I scroll through this? No. No. Okay. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> it did auto scroll. You couldn't help that. <laughs> anyway, I think the gist of it was, "Hey, I'm sorry." Uh, yeah, I think he was busy or something. Well, I think he was also apologizing for the first time that we met. He's like, "I'm sorry about it, but you know, maybe we can hang out soon." That's interesting. Did something happen the first time we met him at the barbecue? Didn't we? Well, he just he just wanted to he wanted to give off a better. I don't know. Hold on, she's gonna tell us. See, Dad, kids got over saying lol and lamal or whatever and decided that we finally needed to bring it back to the 1800s. Clearly. So what do I, what do? I do? Where's your, your pen, pen and quill? quill? What? Did you forget to unpack the pen and quill, Dad? How will we address the nobleman in regards to your upcoming debutante ball? Okay. Uh, now I know you're messing with me. Father, without a proper chaperone, you'll never end up with a suitor worthy of our land. I love or Amanda. Dower, or our dowry. Or, so you read Pride and Prejudice for school one time, and now you're reciting things you know about it back to me, aren't you? Yeah, like the first five pages, and then I read a view of the movie. That's yeah, that's legit. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What do we say to Damien? Goodness gracious! All right. <laughs> Regards. Does. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I suppose that's yeah, that. Alright. Make oh, sure to walk over. Oh, yeah. I he's got fucking gargoyles. I, I wanna look that He's got fucking gargoyles! Hold on, I'm leaning into this. This looks so weird. Hold on. That like it looks like angel wings. Yeah, so there's angel wings on that, and he's got ivy growing up the pillars. What the hell? Let's, oh I make a short walk over to Damien's house. Well I guess you can't really call it a house, it's more of a manor? Estate? The gothic architecture looms over the other homes in the he cul-de-sac. He did paint it. I thought he painted it all black. This is most certainly like purple with the. Look, the art looks like an this indi- way. It's an indigo. It's the art, okay? You Walk past a couple of gargoyles guarding the front door and look around for a doorbell. I pull the large, ornately carved bat's head door knocker back, and a hollow sound echoes throughout the house as I strike it against the door. Oh boy. Oh, oh. that creak. Seriously. Oh, I love it. It's a, it's a little creepy, I'm but wet. I enter the home and take a few steps into the foyer, noting the oil portraits of who I assume are dead relatives hanging on the wall. I don't have enough Great Danes in my life um, to walk into this house. As I'm admiring the front door slams shut behind me. Does that bone, that skull on the right, have ears? Oh, shit. I didn't even see. I think there's supposed to be horns. I didn't even realize oh, there horns. were skulls there. Yeah, look at those. Yeah. Pastries. We have, that's definitely Damien, Lucian, and a dog. Yeah. Oh, here you go. <clears throat> One, uh, uh, uh. uh Storsten, <laughs> pleasure to have you in my home. I look up and see Damien standing at the top of a majestic staircase with a walking candle holder. Uh, what's, uh, what's the door slamming shut? <laughs> oh, sorry. There was a draft. 
<laughs> and the, the door creeping open when I knocked. I accidentally left the door unlocked. And the creepy oil paintings. I like oil paintings. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, kind of a dick. Please, we're kind of, we're kind let of me assholes. show you around. This is, yeah, all right. I, I this, Stosin's kind of being a dick here. It's kind of funny. All right. Uh, oh goodness gracious. We're walking around the house now. Okay. Well, <clears throat> then we just made our way back. Ooh, uh, uh. <laughs> this is one of the older homes on the block. Yeah, yes. What? But nowhere near as old as the architecture like, might suggest. Is it like six hundred years old? <laughs> How long has he been in America? <laughs> what the fuck? Through extensive renovations, I've been able to craft a residence that is both historically, historically accurate, accurate to the Victorian, Victorian period and equipped. equipped with the amenities of any modern dwell. So like plumbing? Do you have plumbing? <laughs> can you can you have that? That's okay if we have plumbing, right? That's all I want. We walk past the door covered in bumper stickers, caution tape, and a black gray poster. Uh, Vladimir Todd? <laughs> That's absolutely what Lucian reads. Dude, this is My Chemical Romance in the Victorian era. I was an MCR kid. I can appreciate Lucian here. Yeah. That's my son's room. You know how rebellious teenager years are. Onward, onward. There's more to see. Ah, ah, Do you think ah. Lucian was turned or born? Oh, born. Absolutely born. So he's uh, Dante from Devil May Cry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Dante was a demon. I was thinking more um, oh, right. Alucard fair, 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 fair. from yeah. Castlevania. True. Never mind. And this is the library. Hey, that window is pretty open for you, Vampy. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was out at the barbecue. That's true, I guess. <laughs> Sunlight streams what are the rules? from floor to ceiling arch windows. The walls are lined with packed bookshelves, and even more books are scattered over the period appropriate furniture. Damien is clearly really proud of this room. I would be too, man. Look at that. It's really cool. Uh, pick up a book. I wonder what books he reads. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh. yeah. We got them hearts. <laughs> Oh, yeah. God. Oh, listen to me. You know, Stostin, in the Victorian era, there was some controversy surrounding reading. Many people thought the more tawdry novels would encourage youths into a life of crime and would cause too much of a distraction from work and school. I pull out a book, of ra I pull out a book at random and examine the worn cover. Opening it, I turn to a random page and read aloud. <laughs> <laughs> Naruto struggled against the chains that Sasuke had bound him with. Shirtless and out of breath, he looked up at Sasuke. Sasuke smirked, unbuttoning his ninja pants. Is he? He writes Naruto fan smart. This is a... What? Uh, oh, okay, I think that's it. Um, wait, how do I... Alright, so now I have to do Japanese in a... No, no, in a, in a vampire just... accent. Uh, uh, Three. Uh, uh, uh. Nani. Nani. Uh. <laughs> I felt like I'm. I'm. That's that's straight out of JoJo's, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nani. 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 Okay. I think that's enough. Damien snaps the book shut and puts it back <laughs> under his shelf. That's a really. That's really. Gay good. Naruto fan smut. That's a. Uh, uh, that's a it. rare book from my private collection. Oh my god! It actually is his. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, butterflies. Yeah, let's look at the butterflies. I was curious about that. More hearts. All right. Walk up to the glass display of pinned bugs on the wall. Pretty impressive. Nah, nice mm. bugs. I've been them all myself. Maybe I could show you a hell sometime. I've actually always been interested in people who did that. I don't know anybody who pins butterflies, but it seems like an, an yeah. odd hobby. Yeah, it is interesting. I'm concerned. I would. I'm concerned. I would stick the pin right through my finger. Oh. The Pinner's Gambit. Oh my god. Is that, a, is that a thing? No. <laughs> no. I didn't even know that was the line. That just seems like a good yeah. response. Should uh, we look at the window? Is that something you think? Yeah, I feel like maybe should... that's the negative. Yeah. I would say that's enough of the time. All right. Yeah, we don't need to look out the window. But maybe we miss out on points? I don't know. But what would we see at the window? Is what I'm thinking. More gargoyles, and I'm imagining his, Are we uh, at his the hedge maze. Maybe is that the backyard? Yeah, maybe. Let's go to the window. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay more hearts. All right. <laughs> I walked to the window, and I'm greeted by a beautiful view of Damien's backyard. It showcases a beautiful view of the rest of the cul-de-sac. Hey, I can see Craig on his lawn. He's doing push-ups with his daughters on his back. I saw with his D, and I was totally expecting that to be dick. 
<laughs> Damn. Damn. Should we really be ogling other men while we're in? Well, this presumably this is what Damien does. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Did you know that the Victorians spent at least 20 hours a week gazing longly, longingly out the full-length windows? That seems like a bullshit <clears throat> statistic. Uh, wait, uh, really? No, but Victorian did appreciate telling a good joke. Ah, 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 that was terrible. Please, will you join me for tea? Uh, yeah, sure thing, I guess. Alright. Finger foods. It looks exactly the same as the last time we Can't were here. I believe we're having a high tea. Never thought I'd get to do this. High? Oh, you want to do it while high? <laughs> Passes blunt. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> What? What? I'll what? You. It's okay. a common misconception that high tea refers to the wealth or class of the people enjoying it. When in fact, the high refers to both the later time of day that the working class had to enjoy tea, and the height of the tables on which they served. So, noon, and then just tall tables? Mm. My dear friend, we're currently enjoying afternoon, afternoon tea. tea. I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's right. That's, that's informative. But yes, high, high tea would be at high noon. It's high. All right. So, <laughs> <coughs> so you're almost going to cross over. There are a lot of goths and people bear. I like your cape. Uh, I, the home is really impressive. It Just, is pretty impressive. Yeah. Let's look up. Oh, Ooh. we got them eggplants. Seems like you really have to put, a lo put a lot of work into this place. Uh, thank you. No one's ever complimented my home before. Hell. Oh. <laughs> Hell, I... I can barely get matching salt and pepper shakers at my place. <laughs> and look at what, what you've done. Kind of jealous. That's very generous of you to say. Yeah, I'm really bad at shopping. <laughs> what got you so interested in goth stuff? Well, you see, one time I got bit oh. by this guy in an alley. Oh. Well, when I was a young boy, my father took me into the city <laughs> to see a marching band. Did he take band. you into the city? <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry. So <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see a marching band? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Stoast. I'm afraid I don't understand. <laughs> oh, you serious, Damien? Take a better, take a better interest in your son's uh, fun. Yeah, but it's you know uh, the song. Amanda made me listen to it. Seriously? I'd love oh. to see a marching band. <laughs> oh my god! He thinks we're hitting on him. Okay. Nevertheless, I've always had a lot of love for art, history, and fashion. What sort of started off as a small hobby of collecting taxidermied animals, wow, wow, <clears throat> free, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> grew into sort of an obsession. It's a privilege to be able to appreciate the lives of culture of those who came before us, I think. Yeah, where did my accent go in the middle <coughs> of the uh, Why not go all the way? Hey. <laughs> I like not a dine when I catch a cold. <laughs> That's fair. He takes a sip of tea. I can acknowledge that there were many terrible things about the Victorian era, and to try to live a life that strictly aligns with those ideals would be admittedly horrid. But I think it takes a critical mind to truly appreciate something to the fullest, to be cognizant of its flaws, and love it all the same. Yeah, I mean... Wow, yeah, no, that joke is very angular. I'm looking at it now. Tell me, Stoston, do you have any hobbies? It's a little feminine, too. Oh, man, I do, but I don't know if I care about anything the way you care about this stuff. Good God. <laughs> well, I'd love to hear about your interests. Hearing someone talk about the things they're passionate about is intriguing, and quite honestly, rather attractive. Oh, there. Please, do tell me about your hobbies. Oh, boy. Oh, quick. Uh, sounds sophisticated. <clears throat> um, uh, uh, enough soap and we can blow up the world. Uh, <laughs> fight club. Uh, <laughs> some word jumbles? I think, I think we started yeah. off the scene on word, on word jumbles. So I think word jumbles is correct. We do crosswords, I think. I, I think we, I think there was a scene where we were doing a crossword in the start of it. No, no, soap making is interesting to an extent. I like soap making videos. It's rendering animal fat. Yeah. Yeah, I... I don't know. I've got no clue on this one. I'm gonna say word jumbles. You're gonna say word jumbles? I'm Go gonna word. say word jumbles. Alright, we got hearts. Okay. That's a positive. The uh, uh, written word fascinates me. Uh, we spend so much time using words, you know? And uh, I, th 
think people would appreciate them more if they had to uh, unjumble them. Ah, smooth, Stosin. Yeah, it's poetic, really. Oh, so you're a writer. <laughs> yeah, in a sense. Oh, God. Come, I have one more thing to show you. It's my penis. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen a cock that is 300 years old? <laughs> oh, shit, this is Damien beautiful. Damien takes me around the back of his home, where a variety of flowers flourish in beautifully landscaped rows. A small stone path weaves through it, and butterflies flit lazily through the air. My garden. It's, uh, beautiful. Thank you. <clears throat> Victorians took flowers and floral arrangements very seriously. Yeah, yeah I get it. You like Victorians. Fucking hell. <laughs> you see, it was considered uncouth to discuss personal and romantic relationships in public. So lovers and friends alike would use bouquets to send secret messages to each other. Each flower and plant is symbolic of different feelings. Okay... Even more interesting is that one flower could mean di mean different things depending Holy on the, the other plants it was paired with. Um, uh, 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 wow. Okay. One had to be extremely careful, as even the style in which the ribbon was tied around the bouquet affected the message. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right, bright orange flower. Oh, here you shit. go. Hang on. <coughs> Hold on. Let's get the dyslexia straight. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Lilium bulbiferium. <laughs> Bulbiferum. <laughs> the orange lily. What do you think this one means? Oh, God. <laughs> My loins are ablaze. Thou art, art of the, the tightest. tightest. Three cheers for sweet revenge. Um. Okay, wait. Lilies. I think lilies are a love plant. So it might be my loins are ablaze. Right, let's, see. Uh, let's see. Roses. Roses are love. Daisy is death. I guess lily could be a love. Yeah, that's I think it's lilies for love. Lilies for love. Because roses are sex. Yeah. Yeah, I and think it's lilies for love. Daisies are for death. Daisies for death. Lily, lily, lily. Yeah, let's go lily for it. My loins Roar are ablaze. <coughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> it, it was the uh, I'll kill. Well. But we didn't get a negative, so you know it. Okay. And that's, why uh, and that's precisely why floral arrangement is so challenging. What's your favorite type of flower? What is your favorite type of flower? Uh, snapdragons, honeysuckles, or sunflowers. I'm personally a fan of dogwoods myself. Me? I'm... Hmm. I mean, succulents are fun. But... Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, I like roses. Basic. I like All the right. white rose, roses. Yeah, white roses are pretty. Uh -huh. Um, Out of these three, I'd probably say snapdragons. Snapdragons, I would say honeysuckle. I could go with honeysuckle. Let's go honeysuckle. Yeah. They smell really good. And then you can eat the tiniest little drop of nectar when you pull the stem out. Oh, good call. <laughs> I'll have to remember that when I put the bouquet together a bouquet for you. Oh. Oh. He, he, uh, he would put together a bouquet for me? What, he's ever given me a bouquet before? You ever gotten a bouquet before? No, I've never gotten a bouquet I've before. I've had girls give me flowers before, and oh. honestly, I love it. Oh, I've yeah. never gotten like a full bouquet, but you know, I've gotten funny. like I have a gotten of a, I have gotten a bouquet from my aunt, and it was made of money. <laughs> she 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 turned all of the dollar bills into like roses and flowers, and then they gave me a bouquet of money. That's that's pretty cool. It was pretty sick. It was my graduation gift. <laughs> oh, Stolston, will you excuse me? I must take. Is his phone ringing? Yeah, his oh. phone's ringing. He pulls a phone, cell phone out of his pocket. I'm a little surprised it's not a rotary phone. Uh, yeah, uh, go for it. But, um... Oh, yeah, God. no, like, I've had girls give me flowers, and, like, even fake flowers, they're just... They're, it, they're, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, no, I, I, I like those kinds of things. It's just... Oh, hey, a gargoyle. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We knocked it over. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit, are we gonna have to... Fix that fix garg. Fix that garg. Okay, okay. Start. Start. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 that's the head. That's, oh, that's the, head. the head. Okay, um, can I drop? How do I? Nope, no, put that away. Um, oh, shit. Okay. I'm timed, too. This looks like an ass. Wait. Uh, no, down. Can we put that down? Oh, no. Okay. Try the mid. Wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. Okay. That looks right. Yes. Okay, yeah, okay. Now, now the bottom the piece. Yeah. Uh, no. Yes, yeah, there. We there. Go. Yeah, all right, and now the head. head. Flip uh, it. It's upside down. Yep. It's upside down. Hey! Oh, S plus legendary. Fucking S A. Plus, fuck you. We're really good at these.
They're fixing that gargoyle. Hell yeah. Fix that guard. <laughs> Fix that guard. Oh, that was good. My God. Whew. No problems. It broke up in three even pieces. We are legend dairy. Wait. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, I mean, you know, we kind of... Stosten, my seriest apologies that I've kept you waiting. There's an urgent matter I must attend to. The villagers are beginning another uprising, and I must yes, go and I must, cut down their I must livestock. go and quell them. You know, <laughs> you see? Oh, yeah. Ain't no problem, dude. Everything all right? Damon worries about the hem of, worries the hem of his coat with his fingers and looks away. Everything is perfectly fine. But I, uh, it's Lucian. Uh, what, what, what's wrong, buddy? He appears to have, uh, well, his teacher needs me to come to his school. Post days. That means quickly. Uh, do, you, uh, do you need help? You coming to back him up? What are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, we're going to jump your son. <laughs> oh, no, you, you don't have you to. You don't have to. Yeah, no, let, let, me, let me come with you. You know, us dads got to stick together. Uh, well, not in this case. And also, you know. You are right. This is one of Lucien's more elaborate stunts. Oh, I would God. greatly treasure having another parent by my side. Yeah, especially single dads. Come on, it's fine. Plus, Isn't, I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day. That's true. Isn't Lucian and Amanda the same age, too? Uh, I think Lucian might be a little younger, but yes. Maybe, like, I don't know. I have no idea. Or maybe a couple hundred years older. I don't know. <laughs> I know how it works. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't, don't twinkle. Damien, you have me so far, just don't fucking twinkle. Twinkle? Where's he twinkling? I, I hope he doesn't. He's got a son who's also possibly a vampire in high school with our daughter. No. Oh. God. I wouldn't miss it for the world, dear friend. Wow. Wow. Whatever doesn't seem like this is Hugo and Damien's first time to my kids are in trouble radio. Yeah, probably not. What is the time? <clears throat> uh, this, <clears throat> this Damien, you have to see to believe. I'm trying to. Trying oh yeah, to I forgot you were doing an English accent. <sighs> Uh, Damien and I fall into step uh, behind Hugo, who leads us through the busy quarters at school. Pass by several classes, big numerous, blah, 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 blah. All right. What, what's your step? I can't watch your step, whatever. It's hard on the shorter pieces. Yeah, on the pieces. shorter sentences, sentences, I can't do it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm trying to get... Is, is Damien leading a cult in the basement? Oh, or Lucian? shit. Find another teacher in the bedroom, tucked away in the... A bloody yeah. nose. Thanks for coming. I can't make heads or tails of this. I look around the scene of the crime and see a bunch of what shit. What happened to you? Ernest punched me. Lucian tried to kill me. Oh, it's... God. The room falls sun. I was not trying to kill you, dumbass. I was just trying to build a brick wall around you and see what would happen. <laughs> you promised me there was wine down here. You tricked me. Whoa. <clears throat> Hold on. I got, I got this. I can do this. I got, I got to do this. Uh, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Lucian, did you try to cask of Amontillado Ernest? I'm neither confirming nor denying that. I like how Lucian has the most normal sounding voice of any of our characters. I'm trying to do like like lazy teenager. Like, uh, like I don't drag. Know. Yeah. What's, <laughs> what's, uh, what's cask of Amontillado? It's a classic Edgar Allan Poe <laughs> short story where a man gets his enemy drunk, lures him down to his cellar with the promise of wine of a fine vintage, then buries him alive beneath a brick wall. Ah, uh, classic that Lucian. Was very specific. It's a lovely story. I mean, so, so, uh, so wait, Lucian, you tried to do that to him? I was curious to see how it would turn out. I wasn't actually going to leave him there. Don't you want to know where you got the masonry equipment? <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. Why is no one asking what? that question? What was the thought process here? That Ernest is just going to sit still while you slowly build a tomb around him? Yeah. Well, I mean, it worked like 20 minutes before. 20 minutes for like 20 <laughs> minutes because he's an idiot. So I didn't realize I, that I had to, I'd lied about the wine. And Ernest wasn't drunk beforehand. And you were cackling maniacally. <laughs> Ernest. 20 20 minutes? minutes? <laughs> Dad. Oh, Ernest, you idiot. Oh, God. It took you 20 minutes. Son, we just did an entire two-week unit on the cask of Amontia. I can't do it. I'm, I'm slowly falling out of it. 
That was a long take too. I could I could have done it, but I don't. Wanna. It's only five pages long, and there is no movie. Uh, yeah, you're right. Pay Lucian to read it for me. Read it for me. <laughs> Actually, he didn't even pay me. So when you think about it, this was me teaching him a lesson. All right, I'm yeah. back on Lucian's side. All right, this is, yeah, yeah, I'm all for it. Oh. You guys are always telling me to engage in literature, and I did. I don't see a problem here. All right, I'm, I'm who's this un unnamed teacher? Just uh, the teacher that was just keeping them down there, I guess. I'm finding this under what the hell. <laughs> Ernest and Lucian high five. What the fuck? Apparently they're just getting off with a warning. Okay. From you attempted murder. You go. I'll cover your class. Just take your son. It's like your son home, Mister Blood March. You too. Thank uh, you for your mediation. I thought it said meditation. I got confused. We all head up the stairs. All right. Lucy and Damien and I fall into the car. Did, why did we drive here? I drive home. Lucy immediately puts his hood up. I'm not going to therapy again. <laughs> Uh, I know, right. son. It's entirely up to you whether or not you want to go. Okay. But I care about you, and I can see you're struggling. So if you do decide that you want to speak to a professional about our feel your feelings, we can do that, too. Oh, how, ni how, how nice and understanding. Yeah. Maybe you can spend this next week looking for a summer job, hmm? I know how much you want your own car. I can't believe Damien's keeping us cool. I'm impressed. So am I. Yeah, this is... Yeah, whoa. go Damien. Yeah, Jesus. All right. Fine. Thanks for not freaking out too hard. I love you, son. Lucian continues staring out the window. Love you, too. All right. All oh. right. I like oh, these, this two. Is, this is, this is a good... Yeah. So, I mean, so, it's not it's not perfect, so but who is? Yeah. So far, like that, that's a good one. Like that. Lucian slammed the car, and I'm not happy about that. But yeah, okay. I didn't expect that that conversation in front of you. You and I have a lot we need to work out. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. You know, all things considered, Lucian's uh, bricklaying was pretty good. So it was just silver lining. Hey, man, the world needs bricklayers. Um, masons. 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 There is that, yes. Uh, I really, I really admire how you handled that. Uh, yeah, I genuinely yeah, that was, admire that. was pretty I cool. genuinely admire that. Yeah. You're a lot more diplomatic with them than I would have been. Uh-huh. It right. just wants what's best for him. And I don't think yelling at them would do either of us any favors. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really does. You're, you're, you're a good, good dad. dad. <laughs> hey, hey, we got that make hey, plan. Hey, see you around soon. It would be my honor be and place. my pleasure. Oh, God. <laughs> I Dude, love him. I Classic. love him so much. Oh, God. Uh, there we go. Just watching TV. Yeah, good girl. Yo. What you watching? Tiny House Hunting Brothers. Extreme Edition. Tiny. So, so the Mario Brothers. Tiny. But on an each, uh, tiny. HGM. Is that that channel? Yeah. H yeah. Uh, something like, yeah. HGTV? HGTV. Yeah, okay. HGTV show. Um, with some old ABC style makeover oh, shit God. happening. Ugh, I hate this show. A couple on screen bickers back and forth while standing in an extremely small house made out of recycled bottles. <laughs> the tiny house hunting brothers watch them with the amused expressions, both their heads touching the low ceiling. I told you I wanted a two bath, two bath shabby chic cottage. This house doesn't even have a bathroom. But honey, this house is only 20 yards away. It's not that bad. I am not pooping outside, Greg. Why don't they just get a regular sized house? I don't know. <laughs> right after your tea, Uh, it got, it got strange. We had to go to the school to pick up Lucian since he tried to. He lured Ernest down to the cellar with the promise of a fine vintage and then tried to brick him into a wall, right? How, how did you know that? Has everyone read this story except for me? We should live stream the entire thing. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not cool, Lucian. This entire day is beyond me. That's not cool at but all. But otherwise, uh, it was a fun day. The I internet think. never dies, man. So Damien's a character, and he's really good company. And a surprisingly diplomatic dad. I dig his style. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he's pretty cool. You know what? Me too, man, Panda. Me uh. too.
Yeah, that was that was a hell of a day. All right, how do we do? How do we do? Okay. Okay. What's right. what, are, what do we get? Ooh, we more dad Let's see that S. Let's see that S. Yes! Yeah. Fuck yeah, we, we're not good in the darkness. But that's okay. What is Oju-sama? He, he gave some speech. Uh, something about never having been on a date, so exquisite is this one. Interesting. Alright, well, we will continue on this dating experience next time on Degenerate Squad Plays Dream Daddy. Oh boy.